Hi viewers, uh, welcome to Smart Ready. Uh, this video is a tutorial for Blender add-on designed to simplify the manual baking process. Uh, with this tool, users don't need to wait at their machine during baking. They can assign the task, leave and return to find the baked textures already applied in the material and ready for export uh, in any format. Let's get started. Before diving into this add-on, let me describe the file we will be using as a sample. Uh, now I'm just opening the file, test file for Bake 2 and I can get into preview render mode for better uh, visualization, understanding the scene. Uh, so as you see in this scene uh, on the object as underscore tree, uh, it has two materials applied with different colors on a single object, uh, which will be like complex to auto bake and as well as object as underscore one contains a material with a texture and uh, this object material upright with roughness set to zero uh, it's a glossy material and uh, the spear material with the normal map as well uh, the name s underscore 4 this material is duplicated and applied to a far placed object where you can see here uh, this to demonstrate baking differences when a shared material is used across multiple objects uh, so even the cube and the metallic effect same material is applied to two objects to highlight difference after baking uh, So as uh, you can see uh, the file has been described now just installing the add-on to install the add-on go to edit menu preferences add-ons uh, If the add-on is already installed uh, search for it remove it and reinstall So now navigating to the folder containing the add-on file install it And enabling it once installed the add-on appears in the viewport on the right side under light baking uh, now I can just expand the panel to see its options now we can just configure the other uh, I can set the resolution uh, for this file I wanted to set it to 1024 and I'm going to select the output part uh, which I wanted to store the big texture and you can navigate to the folder and you can select the output part and this include alpha which enables uh, if you want to save your textures with alpha you can enable this option if you don't want you can disable this option and this option clean up after bake it removes unnecessary nodes like textures and normals for optimization for example if your texture as like in this file as the normal map and textures so after bake i don't need uh, for the optimization so i can remove if you want you can disable this option uh, now let's just click on the instructions so it expands and you can see uh, the first as object naming ensure object name start with the prefix mesh uh, so whatever the object you wanted to bake we wanted to uh, add mesh underscore in front of that object names and object without this prefix will not be baked and uh, please use a principal uh, bsu for better results Shared materials uh, will be automatically duplicated to avoid uh, baking conflicts. And uh, we can just start for the baking. Um, before starting the baking, I just wanted to get into the render settings and see all the render settings are fine. And now we are just going to the render engine and choosing the cycles. This add-on just works only with the cycle. And changing the mode to GP mode. And reducing this sample to uh, 512 and uh, reducing the sample to 512 for quicker outputs uh, batch uh, rename objects so uh, for larger scenes uh, we have to select all the objects and choose batch rename and set the prefix to mesh uh, this ensures consistent naming without manually uh, renaming every object um, so for example now in this scene i can just select these eight objects and i can just go to edit uh, batch rename and uh, click on set name and select the prefix um, type mesh underscore and just say uh, okay so that uh, the names have been done so now we are ready for the baking uh, you can just click uh, start baking button and once it's done you can just monitor the progress in the status bar and output path as images are saved avoid cancelling midway and ensure you save the file uh, with versioning for backups uh, you can review the result after baking you will see uh, textures with combined data saved in the output folder shared materials uh, duplicated with uh, unique baked results even for objects with the same material for example uh, you can see in this pier uh, this pier as well as 
uh, this pair. Uh, both are having the same material, but you can see the difference in the output as well as uh, in the cube, the metallic cube. Both are with the same material, but you can see the uh, difference in the uh, metallic uh, cube. Now, observe with big textures applied on the base color map. Uh, if cleanup was enabled, uh, textures and normal nodes are removed. Uh, to retain these, just disable the cleanup before baking, uh, enhancing the output, uh, adjusting materials. Uh, switch back. Uh, so, as you see, the output is like this. So, I just wanted to make it a better output. So, I'm just going to uh, move my base color uh, link for the bake texture to emission for better visualization. Uh, so I'm just uh, repeating the steps uh, for each object, just uh, setting the emission strength to 1 and linking uh, the texture from base color to emission as well as uh, base color to black. Uh, so now as you can see uh, the file is there and you can see the output of it is. And for us to export it directly uh, to use in other applications, uh, as the textures are already baked and optimized for export. Uh, you can just directly uh, select all or you can just go to edit, export and export it as a GLTF or GLB. Uh, once it got exported, you can just open the file GLB and you can view. So you can see now uh, how the file is uh, with its uh, all combined data, big data. So as you can see uh, how the output is. So if you wanted to do it manually, so now assume that if it is uh, not 8 textures, if it is like 400 textures, we wanted to... Uh, sit on it until the baking completes on each individual textures uh, and to optimize the texture as well like uh, uh, what resolution it wanted to bake and do please comment on anything uh, which will be appreciated and even the points to make this tool work more uh, perfectly. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for more updates and feel free to purchase the add-on through Blender Market or contact us directly. Subscribe to Smart Ready and click the bell icon for a notification. Let's create smarter workflows and innovation designs together. Uh, we'll love to uh, see in the other videos. Thank you guys.